Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Cask of Men. Today we have Richie with us. He lives in Jacksonville and sometimes we hang out and talk about Record Store Day stuff. So we brought him on to talk about Record Store Day yeah. stuff. Glad to be here, man. Yeah, yeah. thanks for being here, man. NP, NP. And we're going to drink uh, and we're going to talk about our record list, even though Record Store Day is now June 20th. Is it June 20th? It's just been delayed. Okay, it's been delayed. I'm pretty sure it's June 20th. Yeah. Because of... Current events, yeah. Event, current yeah. Event, whatever. Uh -huh. So, but yeah, we're going to go through the list and talk about... You're going to talk about your list. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about my list. Mm -hmm. And Gordon's going to talk about his list. Let's do it. So, first on my list is going to be the Almond Brothers. Because they're coming out with another live album uh, mm -hmm. at the Fillmore. And then... Which they, Fillmore, East or West? West. Oh, Oh, okay. there's an East and a West? I think Fillmore East is considered their, their best, like, album overall. Oh, that's why they're doing a West. Probably, yeah. I know they gotcha. did something similar, like, last year, I think, or... They... Yeah, I, mean, they, they, I know they did something. I know it was, like, the uh, <coughs> the ones that they did not put on the album. Like, they did, like, a little... Like, album. Oh, like yeah. a B-Sides thing? Mm-hmm. And then they have an evening with the Almond Brothers band, first set. Hmm. Um, but that's listed twice, so I assume this is a typo, and this is really the second set. Probably, yeah. Probably. And my next one is uh, Bastille, All This Bad Blood. Mm -hmm. That's one of their... Uh, more popular ones, thinking about picking up. They have some a couple songs I like. They're like an indie rock band. Okay, okay. Almost made my list. Did it? Almost. Almost, Almost did? Yeah, uh. it, yeah I, it depends how much other stuff I got. I might not. Okay. It's like something my, your girlfriend would listen to, you know? It's it's like something you put on for somebody. Mm -hmm. I probably offended Like background the sort of like vibe or like, what do you mean? Uh, it, It's like not metal. It's like folky. Oh, okay. It's like indie okay. rock folk. Okay. Kind of like a little poppy. I get the vibe. I get so, the vibe. Yeah, yeah I like, get. The, okay, it's like easy listening music. Right for right. our generation. Okay. Um, Not wrong with that. Not yeah. With that. And then we're just gonna keep sliding down here. The Black Keys. Mm -hmm. Let's yep. rock, which is their newest album, and this is an exclusive. Only five thousand copies. Mm. I have this one already, but this one's all forty fives of like various. Like a box set or? Yeah, that one definitely made my list. No, it's two twelve inch. 45. Oh, hmm. wait, it, hold on, hold on, I got it pulled up, I got the... Looks like Unknown Pleasures, kind of. Limited 45, um, probably should have done this. Oh yeah, it's, wait, it's on your list too? Yeah. All right, cheers. Salud. 5,000 in the US, two LP set, deluxe holographic gatefold jacket. Each is going to be individually numbered, mm -hmm. so it's always cool. Coolio's Gangster's Paradise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's almost like a meme album to That's some people. List. Yeah, it's on your list. I'm more so. of a fan of the... Uh, <laughs> Cheers. The, 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 I'm more of a fan of the Weird Al parody, but... Mm. I do like that. But I'm sure there's some pretty good, you know, there's some pretty good nuggets on that yeah. album as well. So, and then finally, um, I have... Uh, now, I'm not really normally a big fan of... Hold on, let me go to the next page. <clears throat> hold on. Hold the fuck on. Okay. Okay. So, normally, I really dislike 7-inch vinyls because you get two singles. Yeah. And you like you really want a full LP. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way. I am as well, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Eminem, My Name Is, and Bad Guys Always Die, I think I might pick that one. Was that from the Slim Shady LP, I'm assuming, right? That's on your I list? Believe, I believe so. Yeah, it's on my list. It Almost made my list. Almost. almost, almost made your list. Almost close. <laughs> okay, so that's my that's my first five. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to talk about your first? I guess it's my turn. Yeah, cool. I guess you'd be the one to. Yep, I'll I'll scroll back up here. All right, MP. For me, my first choice was David Bowie's uh, "Change Is Now Bowie." Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a huge okay. Bowie fan, so like, I just like I just like to buy anything Bowie at this point. Fair enough. Are yeah. you also familiar with "I'm Only Dancing"? The Soul Tour of 74. Oh yeah, that he released like, what, three this year? Or is his, you know... That... Yeah, his... Well, they're, this is duplicated. Oh, because they have a CD version of each, that's why. They have CDs in Record Store Day? Apparently they have CDs now, yeah. And cassettes. CDs and cassettes. Yeah, I want to wait for hours to get a CD. <laughs> I know. Uh, look at uh, us hipsters shitting on CDs. Yeah, exactly, yeah, look at vinyl. us. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, oh. cool. So what's your second one? Um, mine's more like a new wave gothic rock kind of uh, vibe. It's called the Church Golden Afternoon mm. Gold Afternoon Fix. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like I just bought recently a vinyl. I forget what the vinyl was, but I bought it from my friend named Todd. He's a really cool dude, and uh, 
I don't know, I have yet to listen to it, but I've listened through, you know, streaming platforms, Spotify. I don't know, I, just, I really enjoy the church. It's yeah. one of my favorite, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll have to check these out. Yeah. You are looking for some stuff I haven't even heard of, so hmm. that's cool. Well, there you go, right? Good yeah. Morning. Uh, my third one on my list is uh, actually the one I'm most excited about getting, or potentially getting for that matter, is uh, the Common is Coming set, uh, 12 inch uh, Imminent. Mm. Yeah. They're like an experimental jazz album. They released the one, like, I think it was last year, and I, I don't know, I was amazed by it. I really loved the album so much. I might pick that one up too then. Yeah. Because we picked up, like, um, uh, uh, ja what is it, Gorn? Like, something dispensary? The jazz dispensary, dispensary, which is kind of like a, I don't want to say experimental, but it's like a... The dank defunk blend. That's right. It was, like a psychedelic or... Well, it's kind of like a funk like version. A funk jazz. Yeah, and, but they did some covers, like some... Like a funkier bitches brew or something? Yeah, or? they did. well, they did arrangements of like some jazz standards, mm -hmm. and like older, probably like big band era stuff, mm -hmm. but funk. So it was like jazz goes funk. That sounds really nice. It's amazing. But it's good, yeah. Gotta so. check that out. So I imagine that's probably a bar from one of us. So. Well, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. So what you got? What you got for that? My uh, fourth one on my list is uh, one of my favorite bands ever, The Cure, Blood Flowers. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming we're all Cure fans, right? Everybody's a Cure fan. Hey, everybody's a Cure Even fan. if they don't know what they are, because there are songs I heard by The Cure, and someone said, this is The Cure, and I went, Oh, that's the cure. I never met a person who hated Fr it's Friday. I'm in love. Right. So I, mean, I do feel like yeah. being the cure right now. So yeah, I, they're like REM before REM, right? They're like REM's one of their biggest influences. No, I think uh, it was like Chicken Before the Eggs. All right, so my fifth one on my list is actually another one of my favorite bands ever. It's a uh, blues punk band, or I guess oh, you can consider it blues nice. punk. It's a band called The Gun Club, and they release a live album called Live in London. Really? Yeah, like, uh, I forget what the album was called, um, something Fire, I don't know, but it's like, I remember listening to the entirety on Spotify, I loved it so much. I don't mm. know, and not, not only it's like one of my favorite punk bands, it's like one of my favorite overall bands. Yeah, I mean, if they're big blues influence, I'm gonna check them out. Oh yeah, I, I never heard a band guy. like them, yeah. Because like, it's kind of weird to like, implement both like, the hard, you know, thrashy chord riffs of like, mm -hmm. uh, punk mixed with like the slow balance of blues. So it's kind of like they have a good mixture of that. Nice. Um, I don't know, I really like it's it. It's like up-tempo blues. Yeah, uh-huh, I agree. Tasteful, is it tastefully done? Yeah, I, th like, I say it's tastefully done. I mean, their earlier stuff, they get a little slower, but like, remember like their first, their th you know, first three albums, they really kicked in there. Nice. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to quickly mention a few here. Fleetwood Mac is having an alternate version of the Rumors. Oh, yeah. The V Rumors? Yeah. The Rumors. So like the album that the I think a lot of people are going to look forward to. So I think that's definitely an honorable, honorable mm -hmm. mention. Yep, I'd say uh, so. <laughs> yeah. Outside of that, I mean, I, I do just want to also say uh, Def Leppard doing Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and uh, oh, Johnny yeah. Cash. They record the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame like live performance or yeah. something? Or? Huh. They okay. recorded their yeah performance yeah. Mm -hmm. at, like, I guess in their induction. Yeah. So, Even though I don't really give a S H I T about Yeah, most them, people but... don't care about the Hall of Fame. No. Well, I yeah, remember but... the last one I saw was Bon Jovi. Yeah, was what was this year's? Movie. I forget what this year's was. was. I think it was Depeche Mode and... Um... Depeche Mode. And then just... What is rock and roll? Huh? Like, what is rock and roll now? Like, yeah, I mean, just like... I mean, they put Tupac and Biggie in there, so... I think, yeah, they actually put Biggie too, I think, recently. So it should be called, like, the Rockstar Hall of Fame? Or like, because, or just the hall of the music hall of fame in general. I think. Yeah. Because I don't know. Because you're, like, rap isn't. Yeah. I mean, I, this is probably controversial to say, but rap isn't rock. I mean, so it's a genre. It's a different genre. <laughs> right. It, except that like one DMX song that was a crossover. Or no, who was it? Lincoln Park and uh, Jay Z. Before that encore album, hmm. there was. Um, Oh, Run DMC and Aerosmith. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. And also Cashmere and somebody. Hmm. And my like, last honorable mention for the beginning there, just Gorillaz D and G sides. Oh, yeah. yeah. Released. If you're a Gorillaz fan. Who isn't a Gorillaz fan? apparently like yeah. hard, always hard to have it afterwards. So. so I've heard, yeah. At least what you said earlier, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always hmm. harder afterwards. Speaking of Judas Priest. Mm hmm. Um, I had British Steel. Mm -hmm. That's my next one, my sixth. It was like an anniversary or? Yeah, so it's the 40th anniversary edition. Mm. Salute. Nothing on my list. Cheers. Um, 
So the, yeah, the 40th anniversary edition. It's just like, um, actually there are a lot of anniversary editions. I've, seen. I've noticed, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but this is the one I'll probably pick up. You know, there's like U2 and stuff like that, which yeah. everyone's going for. I mean, 1980 was what, four, actually 40 years ago. That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy. So uh, definitely gonna pick up that. And then they have another one, Sad Wings of Destiny. So mm, if you're a big it. Judas Priest I'm fan. I'm a big, yeah, I'm a big Judas Priest fan. You're the Judas Priest fan. Yeah, you can get the couple to choose for. Like I'm a normie Judas mm. Priest fan, so that's why I'm getting British Steel. You, I mean, yeah, you might, you may like breaking the law. Yeah. Sad, yeah, yeah. Did you hear their newest album, by the way, Firepower? No, it's considered one of their best, actually, and they're oh, in their sixties really? now. Yeah, damn. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Yeah, I have to look that up. Like them, Alice Cooper still coming out with stuff. I think, yeah, I think, I think he is. Yeah, I know. There's just um, one album he released. I think 2017. It was showing look like a conjoined twin or something, and like, I don't know. The look, album looked weird. But I liked it. Alice Cooper is a. Alice Cooper is a character. He's a mad lad. Mm hmm. Um, let's see, what's my next one? Um, Charles Mingus. M, M, M. So, yeah, so Charles Mingus, uh, it's the first time I've seen them at a, at a record store day. Mm, what's the and name of the album? It's uh, Mingus Um Redux, it's the only one. Raise your glasses, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Uh, yeah, kind of a cool thing about Mingus is uh, it's the first album that actually got me really into jazz. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Nice. I don't it's my favorite jazz record ever. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it used to be kind of blue, my Miles Davis, but I thought that was kind of like a normie sort of, you know, thing. That's the one everyone gets into jazz. Right, right. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, fantastic album, greatest jazz album ever. But like, I don't know, something about Migas to me, I just love so much, especially that album. Oh, uh, Motorhead, another one I'm thinking about getting just because Kind of like Motorhead. Yeah, they're, they're all right. doing a they're doing speed a metal band. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing a twelve like mainstream speed metal. Mm. But you know, Ace of Spades. Rest in peace to every single original member. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I think it's a picture disc too. Hold on, check really? Out. Like an actual LP or is like something like a twelve inch? It's or... a twelve inch. It's oh, just okay. a yeah, two song twelve inch. But I think it's like a like this the Ace of Spades mm -hmm. picture yeah, disc. Nice. Is it Ace of Spades or mm -hmm. yeah? Ace it is okay. Spades yeah, it is. Well, it is. So yeah. That'd be cool to have on vinyl. I think so. Yeah. So sometimes you get like, I mean, sometimes metal sounds good on vinyl. Sometimes it's not. I yeah. guess it depends on when it was recorded. True. And what True. they recorded on. Mm -hmm. But so we'll see. My Chemical Romance, Life on the Murder Scene, hmm. just because you know that was my era of emo metal. Not my place to judge. I mean, it's not just. An LP, it's got like live tracks besides like a stuff. compilation or like just... yeah, it's like a compilation. Mm -hmm. So you got like some early My Chemical Romance mm -hmm. and then some newer stuff. Did you just come back too? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think it was what December, I think. End of last year. Yeah, yeah end of last year. Or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in that range, yeah. 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 So uh, hopefully they release a new album. That would be cool. They might soon. Some of these like some of these releases are kind of like to get people hyped. Okay. Stuff yeah. They have, or like a tour they're going. I on. mean, more and more people are recognizing RSD. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. So people are just jumping on. Exactly. Nothing wrong with that though. Yeah. And then let's see. My last one is uh, the Pink Floyd Arnold Lane the Arnold Lane live. Right. What year was that made? Got to drink that one. Oh, we do. So you got a, a live Pink Floyd, and uh, yeah. I <laughs> I included a. Uh, a bonus in that? Well, I'll talk about it later. Okay. But, um, so that's my next five. Cheers. Cheers. Talk now, my friend. You gotta pour it, like, almost parallel. Yeah, there you go. Nope, keep going. Oh, oh okay. Keep going. Keep going. To, like, this line right here. Oh, well. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I only drink on Sundays, I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> drinking my good man? So, what's the next five you got? The next five I got is from a uh, female rapper named Lil' Kim. I'm not too familiar with her, but I've heard a lot of good things of her. So I was like, yeah, all right, am I engaged in that? Yeah. Uh, are you a fan? A big Lil' Kim fan. Are you? I, I mean, I've, I've like heard about milkshakes and stuff, but I don't know if I'm a huge Lil' Kim fan. I don't know. I mean, like, I want to get into it. But it's just title nine. I th yeah, just title nine. <laughs> There's probably some context to it, of course. That's what little Kim looks like. Does she? I mean, it's not bad. Hmm. 
She's got big thighs. Bigger than I'd expect. Just saying. I mean... Yeah, I'm used to seeing like... Uh, thick thighs save lives, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? That's right. I'm used to seeing like uh, Nicki Minaj and... Uh, Cardi? Cardi B. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a fan of both. Though. Yeah, you can't see her thighs because there's like some dude's head like shoved in between them. <laughs> really? Yeah, with the bottle of whatever she's drinking. Yeah, that was on the last record story. Yeah, like all tits. Oh, those are vinyl? Or that's the album. That's, that's oh, album I didn't cover, know that. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, although you're talking about live performance, I was like, huh? <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened during live performance. Those backup dancers probably. You know, yeah. Gotta earn that money. All right, what you got? <laughs> what you got next? Yeah, so uh, my next one is uh, I'm a huge fan of Post Malone's Hollywood's Bleeding. I think it's the first time it's on vinyl. I don't know if it is or not, but. I think so. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. I'm a big, I'm a big Let's fan double of double check. Um, and then he's got like a bunch of little single three inch vinyls. Hmm. How do you feel about that, Gorn? How do you feel about three inch vinyls? I'm getting several of them. Several of what? <laughs> the three inch vinyls. Of Post Malone? Or? Yeah, Post Malone. The vinyl too or no? Uh, or the maybe. LP. How do you play a three inch vinyl? I'm pretty sure it's very still carefully. 40, it's still 45. You just drop the needle in the right spot. Okay, that's good. And it still ends. Right. Well, remember those little like mini record players that came out with for a couple of years? They're trying to I'm like a CD thing. Sure. No, it's a record player, but it's like this big. I think those are still 45s. Where, was it all plastic? There was something weird about that record player. The record player was just only. It's just tiny. Inch. It's yeah, only it three inch. Yeah, yeah the, the record yeah. player they they pronounced for that record store day was yeah, three like they were inch. Trying to push player. this new three inch. Stuff. Really? Mm -hmm. Or power to them, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but as long as I can play it, you know, on my as long as you can play it, actual record player, yeah. like normal turntable, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, this is cool just don't LP. automatically this start is... your record player if your record player is yeah, automatic yeah, and it doesn't have a three inch setting because it will drop it where it thinks the seven or twelve inches or ten inch, whatever you got it set yeah. to. Mm. Yeah, this is like where he gets more into like indie. Where yeah, it's, he, it's not hip hop, right? Like it's. Uh, it's, it's like, like I, I call it trap R and B. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, he uh, he actually had a song that collabed with uh, Travis Scott and Ozzy Osbourne. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, That's oh, pretty... wow. like only Post can do something like that. Yeah. Only Post. He's he's crossing boundaries. Yeah, and I can't I can't help but you know respect that. My third one on the list is something you already discussed was uh, Charles Mingus' On Um, The Redux, so we don't have to really get into that that much. Sure. My fourth one, however, is uh, Thelonious Monk's, uh, how do you say that? I don't know how the hell to say that. Uh, Palais des... I can't... Palais, my head writes terrible. Palais des Beaux Arts. What he said. 1963. Yeah. Oh, I'm just someone, a, I'm a huge so, jazz fan. Someone who gets in the comments who actually knows French is going to destroy me please do please. i would love to see that <laughs> could, could you imagine if i got the language wrong too but yeah another classic jazz guy yeah. or i'd say like pop jazz yeah pop jazz yeah i guess like, so uh herbie hancock those kind of guys yeah mm -hmm. like miles, yeah miles everybody and uh, uh my fifth and final one for this section is uh the one of the best rappers ever biggie smalls is it was just a dream there you go mm -hmm. the you notor fan the notorious yeah. I didn't put it on my list. No, I'm just asking if you're a fan. I, I just, <laughs> are you a fan? Like are you a fan yeah, of you, Biggie? Yeah. Yeah? Right. yeah. Anyways, uh, so honorable mentions. Yeah, we're going to fucking that edit that out. That escalated quickly. Yeah, we're going to fucking edit that out. Yeah. I have one honorable mention. Okay. Mm. And I can't believe nobody really wanted to mention this. What? What's but, that? Uh, Baby Shark. Pink Fox, <laughs> I think, is the guy. Pink what? But yeah. Dude. Baby Shark. Like, what the hell, man? Like, you guys didn't want the Baby Shark uh I mean, I'm gonna get out? it, I but mean, I'm not gonna tell anybody. <laughs> Especially the internet. You kidding me? I would I would blast that shit. I I'm going to. I'm going to play it when I have a guest that has kids. Because all the people I have now... So when you get to our age, like, people are starting to have kids. And, and several married. versions of Baby Shark. Oh, know, like, awesome. On, and it's a like, picture what? disc. And it's a picture disc. <laughs> what more can you want from that? Like, right? That's right. That's right. So whenever someone comes over... That's a parent. I'm gonna blast it, and then I'm gonna laugh at them because they're, they're gonna. Oh no, that's first date music for me. Oh true. No, yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. That, that's she what said, gets the ladies. Coming. I mean, I'm saying if she wants to play some bedroom music, I'm playing her some bedroom music. You're playing baby shark. Exactly. Yeah, straight up. What a, so what's the one you were actually gonna say? No, that was it. Oh, that oh, was, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nailed it. We haven't looked at each other's list by the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's not joking, it really is Baby Shark. Alright. I don't think it's it. Alright. Now that's the end of mine. I got my third section. Hold on, let me get to the page. 
the right page. Mm-hmm. I just start off with the Rolling Stones. Mm-hmm. Let it bleed. They're doing another. I don't know. This is an anniversary. It's like a. It's an anniversary. It came out in '69, so. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Is there a collector's edition? It's one of my called. favorites. Yeah. Yeah, and it's exclusive. There's only gonna be 900. Okay, so the next one on my list, I'd say number 12, is Vitamin String Quartet performs Lana Del Rey. Hmm. This is kind of like a little, I think a compilation of Lana Del Rey stuff, but I like specifically Vitamin String Quartet. And I do good. love me some Lana, so. Yeah. Yeah. They're a good string group. Uh, hmm. Last record store day for Black Friday, I got a, like a Vitamin String Quartet does uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Really? Um, yeah, I liked it a lot. So hmm. this one could be good. There's only 1,500, so. It is pretty rare. Yeah. So then the next one I have is kind of another Pink Floyd one. It's Roger Waters, uh, but The Wall Live in Berlin. It's a first release, um, so it's not gonna be. That's a cool album cover. Yeah. Um, Wait, Live in Berlin? Like, dur no, maybe. I was thinking of something like. 30th anniversary, so. So maybe. I guess it was maybe the, uh, the, uh, the fall of the Berlin Wall. Just months after the fall of Berlin, so there you go. Okay, there you go. Um, yeah, it was, I mean, it, it was like, you brought a bunch of people in, like Van Morrison, mm -hmm. the band, Cindy Lauper. So it's not, it's not exactly Pink Floyd, you know? Yeah. But it's, it's talented people perform Pink Floyd with Roger Waters. All right. So it's like 10, per, 10 to 20% Pink Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> you ever take? Yeah. Sure. It's a couple sure. of their songs, at least. So. Yeah. It, I mean, it's the wall. It's all Pink Floyd songs. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. that's another ten there, and another ten is Roger. That's twenty percent. There you go. Yeah, well, okay. makes sense. So I got two more, but before we get to the next page, mm -hmm. I just want to throw out a little, a little honorable mention. A little wild card. To uh, yeah, I doubt you guys are looking for this on your list, but uh, it's called Rockabye Baby. And they do lullaby renditions of the Wu Tang Clan. So this is another awesome it's children's record. Uh -huh. It's not honorable mention, so it doesn't count. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Do you have it? I do have it. Oh, you do? I do. Is it on your list? <laughs> it's on his list. Uh, and yeah. I also, I apparently have not been keeping track of this. I think we're on five. <laughs> so yeah, this is another. This is another like children's album for people eighteen ages and up. And uh, a lullaby for 18 plus, huh? Yeah, I mean, hmm. it's child renditions of the Wu Tang Clan. I don't know. I mean, I buy it. <laughs> I, apparently, yeah, I'm gonna look for it. it could I mean, be, I put it on my list, so I guess I am. It it could be awful, but who cares? It's memes. So the next, I guess, legit one I've got is uh, Hank Williams, mm -hmm. just because. I mean, classic country guy. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I don't really have much Hank Williams. So I might pick this up. It's yeah. a 10 inch vinyl. It's got. Yeah, absolutely love them. Yeah. Yeah. So and then the last one is Yardbirds. So mm -hmm. Roger the Engineer, stereo and mono, uh, two LP exclusive, 1500 copies. I don't know if you guys knew, but Yardbirds is like they're like a. Jimmy Page, Eric Clapton. Late, yeah, late 60s, 70s band that have yeah. somehow the best guitarists and like some of the most popular mm -hmm. blues people ever. Like Beck, Jimmy Page, Clapton, handful of other people. Yeah, I mean obviously don't come to mind, but I know Page and Clapton are on there, yeah. Yeah, so. and Beck. There you go. Yeah. I'm sorry, if you already mentioned Austin Powers. Wait, did you put Austin Powers on there too? Did you already mentioned I didn't that? mention Austin Powers. Okay. Yeah. Do so, you have it? Well yeah. you'll talk about it. Yeah. Um I thought he was putting it in there. So Shagadelic, baby. <laughs> no, yeah. I right. don't know. I don't. I don't generally go for soundtracks, so we'll see. Yeah, that's yeah. all there is in that section. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a lot of soundtracks. Yeah, it is a lot of soundtracks. But I skipped all the various artists one. Yeah, that was so, going to be a pain. You're fine. So you want to go over your last five? Sure. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh. You, for your song. So we had Baby Shark, but did you also know that Paw Patrol, the official theme song, is going to be on here? Oh. Had, yeah, I'm sold. You, yeah. I'm I didn't sold. know that. <laughs> I'm sold. Almost, that have, almost made me Have you ever seen Disney's channel's Paw Patrol? Have you? Very vaguely, yeah. Okay. It almost made my list. Alright, <laughs> go ahead. Changed <laughs> music forever, to say the least. It's, it, no. 
No. No. You're saying that Paw Patrol didn't have a huge impact on the music industry? An impact? <laughs> you. <laughs> it, had a, it had an impact. Pocked. Like, because of Paw? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you were doing a pun. I could just go over a few. You want to go over a few? TLC Waterfall. Oh, yeah. No. no. Classic. Not a fan? I, don't, I mean, I'm not too familiar. Waterfalls? You ever heard of song? Oh wait, elk, oh, oh, elk, yeah. And of course there's a ton of soundtracks this time around. Yep, that um, was pretty good though. Mm -hmm. Just uh, two, some of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, I want to say Hackers. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got some uh, actors in that movie that are, uh, you know, pretty good when they're young. Angelina Jolie. Yeah, it was one yeah. Of, I think it was Angelina you know, like Jolie's first like big movie or something. I what? think so, yeah. yeah. That's the movie she's world. very young in that movie. That's, yeah, that's the movie that popularized like typing really quick in TV shows and movies. Yeah, and they do it intensely, they're like... All right, so one more honorable mention, uh, Dune OST soundtrack. So the Dune movies based off the book, hmm. blah, 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 sci-fi. Like, Classic sci-fi. Yeah. Post like it's got, it got a huge cult following. It wasn't as big when it like first came out, but like since It's like then, a cult following now. Yeah, or, now okay. it's like huge, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so you want to talk about your Second last one. five? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so uh, the first one on my list is uh, one of my personal favorites. It's a band called Slint, and they made an album mm. called Spiderland in 1991. It's a, it actually has like a really cool cult following. It's like one of those rare, weird albums that like people really enjoy and respect. Okay. And this one's a uh, 12 inch, and it's a uh, breadcrumb trail, which I think is the first song on there. And Good Morning, Captain. I don't know. Are you familiar with Slint or? Not at all. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Really good. Okay. I'm like a weird, but like a good weird. Um. So this has <laughs> nothing. So this has nothing to do with Slint, but uh. So there's a lot that they. There's a lot of albums they always have on mm -hmm. RSD that are like limited run, regional focus. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like we ever get those in Florida. Mm. So I'm just kind of bummed sometimes because like sometimes I just go into record stores and I'll just buy something it's like I a have... cultural difference or just because like there's nothing much to like spread or spread around like so there's like 500 mm -hmm. each or something. there's just like look at some of these they're like 500 600 1, 000, 1200 yeah. 900 i think five, it's yeah, like okay. a local like a local band or something okay but that's cool though but i just wish there would be better like at least in florida you know yeah or have like florida bands i mean yeah, yeah. i don't know that'd be cool yeah 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 yeah. My second one is one of my personal, of least classic rock standpoint, um, The Who, oh. a uh, quick live one. I'm not too familiar with it, but I am a fan of their uh, really popular live album, Live at Leeds. I actually saw them in concert in 2015. They're fantastic. Nice. She just came out with an album uh, last really? December. Yeah. Sweet. And the first time in like 14 years, I think. Yeah, those guys are oh, yeah. still I, going strong. That was the only thing I wanted for Christmas. Like I was like, that's all I want is the new Who album. I got it. And I was like, all right, nice. Good. Yeah. Yeah, some of those guys, like them, the Stones. Mm -hmm. It's like one or two other, I guess Metallica. Like all those 70s. Well, Metallica's more 80s, but. Technically, they're 80s. Technically. But uh, yeah, they're still going strong. They're going mm -hmm. touring. Yeah. yeah. Except right now, no one's touring. So. Yeah, because of. Uh, current events, you know. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, anyways, um, so yeah, what you got next? My third one is actually a soundtrack, and oh uh, shit, soundtrack. Uh, uh -huh. We're getting to the soundtracks now. Um, the one and only Austin Powers soundtrack, <laughs> International Man of Mystery nice. himself. So you know they're so they have that. They have all three movie soundtracks. Really? Uh, the Spy Who Shagged Me, Gold Member, and I think this, the first one's called International Man of Mystery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. Where's that at? Right here. Oh, okay, all of them. Hell, I'll get all of them. I, You're gonna I, get all I, of them? I'll get all of them. That's a lot of Austin Powers. Yeah, that's... That's <laughs> <laughs> just three of them in my bio collection. You're like, I just need these three. I'm I just I just need these three. He's like, no, no, nah. I mean, there's a good chance no one else is going to get that, so... Well, there's a good chance he won't also get those. <laughs> that's true, yeah. You'll yeah. go like... Yeah, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure all the $10,000 he spent, he's like, all right, I'll get you an Austin Powers LP. I mean, if you request it, he might order it for you. True, but I don't know. Because you're reliable. Like, you show up and buy stuff. So. I do, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't ask for it, and it's already too late. But... Is it? I don't know. Because it's delayed now. Yeah, but isn't, like, already, if you bought it already, or is it kind of, like, still delayed from that? 
I'm, I'm not too familiar with that. I'm gonna go up there and ask him this week. So okay. I'll let you know. I'm, I mean, I don't really care that much. I'm just generally curious. Yeah, because I. Because I'll be announced on Instagram because of the uh, the current event. Yeah. And, uh, well, I know our like the guy we're talking about, our local record shop. Yeah. I think he puts his order in what two or three weeks. Or... Well, this one he says like the. Fun... Put, uh, he's likely already put his order in. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. The if thing it's like... is, he's likely going to be able to get put... Baby Shark. He's likely going to be able to adjust his order because of how much time he has. That's true. Correct. It is. I I doubt that they're like not going to work with these guys at all, especially since. It just got moved on all of them. Mm -hmm. and that's a big deal to them. It's a it's, big deal. It's a big event to these people. It's a lot of money. Oh, yeah. bringing in. That's money that they were expected this time of the year. Millions now of dollars. Being yeah. moved around. Like, that, that's a big deal. That's like, true. this is a big event to them. Mm -hmm. um, I was kind of excited to uh, be one of the few people, hopefully, in line, just like coughing so that people would like. <laughs> we can save up more money, though. So that's good. Yeah, now more. people can save up more money for it. Uh, people can plan more for it because now they have a lot more time that they. Because mm -hmm. the list has already been. Spoiled, so like it doesn't. They, yeah. They now have this is the longest yeah. amount of time anybody's ever had to plan for it. So that's true. Yeah. So, I mean, it saves our walls a bit. So. And yeah. hopefully, I hope they're still scared. They might be able to add to it. It might be what? Be cool. They might they be able to add, add to a couple it. things. That'd or, like cool. updated yeah. RSD list. Mm -hmm. They're like, sorry for this. So we spiced it up even more. Hopefully, you know who knows. I mean, that, it's always it, that, that if too, it does, right? we yeah. predict the future. If it doesn't, fake news. <laughs> and the, um, finish? yeah the fourth one was the uh lullaby renditions of wu-tang oh, already did you drink for the austin powers yeah we did didn't we i'm pretty sure we did apparently not no okay why not right yeah and then what's the one you're about to say it was the lullaby renditions of wu-tang already so, oh yeah you gotta drink for that too oh we already did drink for that oh i'm drinking uh, go ahead buddy and the fifth one is uh one of my favorite bands um the the people oh, who yeah. actually created punk themselves, the Ramones, and they released their, I think they really released their uh, album, It's Alive, last year, I think, or maybe I, I'm mistaken, but it's the It's Alive part two of the Ramones live album, and I don't know, nice. like, I have a few of their live albums, but that's like, oh, I can't get enough of Ramones to me. Yeah, I don't think I have any Ramones, so I'll probably end up picking them. Like overall, or just Record Store Day? Just overall. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. a really good band. They're a really good band. They cloud stuff. This is an exclusive release, so. How many we uh, have? 8,000. Okay, that's so okay, yeah. They'll probably have one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just don't oh. try to play that side. <laughs> Can you not? Can no. you? No. No, yeah. Not unless, like, sometimes it's just, like, part of it, and you just be careful. On yeah, that, but uh, the way the one I had usually, they had, I think yeah. most of these when they mention that this time like, around is like uh, the whole side. So yeah. Oh, but then there's not, but there's nothing on there. Though. Correct. That's fine. Yeah, it's I the other side. Like for the 2007 Pink Floyd live album, only one side is played. Okay. The other that's side good. is art. So sweet. Um, and so that's, that's your that's, list. Yeah, that's it for me. Do you have any extra ones you want to add? No, I did. You did? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, oh, I, I mean, I technically have Lethal Weapon on here. Lethal but Weapon I don't really right? know what's on there. I just know Eric Clapton's in it. That's enough said there. I mean, we can't get enough of I'm Clapton. I'm pretty sure. You should probably pull it up. I think there's a few. Giving him pressure there. now. Okay. Well, before I get to that, I'm going to say Sam Smith, mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg, yeah. um, Soul Asylum, mm -hmm. Britney Spears, Spoon, Squirrel Nut Zippers. I don't know who those are. I just like the name. The Strokes. Yeah, the Strokes, uh, yeah. Sun Ra. Uh, Tangerine Dream. Tangerine, yeah, for Tangerine. Some like, mm -hmm. they have a big following. Um, the The, or The The, or The The, or The The. <laughs> Whatever the hell you pronounce it, yeah. Yeah, it, you get, you know, multiple. Off. Toto has a live Toto, album. of course. Um, U2. U2, yeah. Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creator. Um... So, the Lethal Weapon. This person named various artists is pretty famous. Like, they have a lot of albums now. I know, dude. Right? They, they've got everything from Soul to Ska from Jamaica to, like, um, talk, like Awesome Powers. Talk right. about a diverse taste, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. They're raking in money, man. Um, I can't find the Lethal Weapon. Oh, there it is. Um, let's see. There's, a, like, a Batman and Robin soundtrack. Like, like the, the 60s Batman. Batman and Robin or the the cringy Batman? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Which one are you referring to? The cringy one. Oh. Uh, by the way, Eric Clapton, Michael Kamen, David Sanborn features Clapton on guitar on nine tracks. Hmm. The Lethal Weapon. 3,000. Oh, I know. Okay, I know that. It's the first release. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, but they got a Batman and Robin. Where is it? They have, they have a Batman and Robin, and then they've got Batman of the Batman animated TV show. From an early Documentary. 90s? Really? Yes. Oh, I love that show. I it love was, oh, yeah. that show. Hands down, top five Batman. In my opinion, DC cartoon shows and movies beat Marvel any day. Oh, any, for sure. Any day. So, do we want to mention any more that we didn't on our list? I think I'm pretty all right. I think we have plenty. Oh. Huh? Cool. I think we have plenty. Yeah. You think we have plenty? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Infectious grooves, kinks. I think you mentioned. Do you guys want to mention yeah. a new uh, new guy on our channel? Mm -hmm. and a special guest appearance by Dex the Shiba Inu. Hey. Yeah. He's gonna be in all our memes. <laughs> The new uh, Doge 2.0. That's right. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Go, no, go. No, go. Okay, go. <laughs> All right, uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? Are, are you excited for standing in line for like eight hours? Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, oh That's, yeah. All the, my ass is going to be so fine after It's going to be so sore. What else? Uh, um, what's your favorite part about Record Store Day, Gorn? I think I asked you this last video, but... I mean, you definitely... We get to, like, meet up with people we only get to see once or twice a year, apparently. That's true. Yeah. And there's some interesting characters in there. We, it sounds like we... I mean, we met you there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and... But most of the other guys, we, like, haven't seen too much of. There was the guy that does the garage sales now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Met some people selling some records out of the garage. Uh, so we do, cool. yeah, we do just continue to meet yeah. people that are, you know, in the community. Also no, willing to be up for, for the same thing. Yeah. So you meet people dedicated to the same thing you are. I don't know. It's a very wholesome demographic, to say the least. You know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Very diverse. I don't know. I'm, I'm really cool to be a part of it. I feel, I feel very, uh, I don't know. I guess you could say humble to be part of it, you know? Like yeah. I, I started when I was around. I don't know, 14 years old, my mom took me to the flea market nice. and she just gave me like a huge like discography of the Beatles and a few Elvis and of course Michael Jackson's thriller and says, mm -hmm. if you like it, then there you go. If you don't, then let's, you know, find something new or something, you know, and just fell in love ever since, you know. So that's how you got into records? Mm -hmm, absolutely. I think, yeah, the first album I ever listened to on vinyl was actually Abbey Road. Of all things, yeah. What a way to start. Classic. Yeah. Now look at this now. I'm talking about records. Yeah. And so, Richie, what's your favorite thing about, or was that your favorite thing about? Oh, that was my favorite, yeah. You agree? Uh -huh. I think one of my favorite things about Record Store Day, because I'm a total asshole, is like sniping things that people want because I always show up there really early. Mm -hmm. And even though I don't even listen to it, like, but uh, but I'm a good sport. Like, if they if they say to me, hey, I really wanted that Bone Thugs album, mm -hmm. then I'm like, yeah, here you go. But it's just like that two minute interval of people being like, Ah, oh, there were only two of those, and I'm like, <laughs> that's it. I like that though. Yeah, I'm uh, a I'm a giant troll. So. Not wrong with that though. In real life, we're getting exclusive. We are getting exclusive uh, vinyl that yeah. we can't so really get otherwise. I mean, we are in line for a reason. Yeah, there's a competitive yeah. nature to it. Like, yeah. so I remember I came there around like what midnight, and I was still the seventh in line. <laughs> There is somebody, uh, obviously I'm going to mention his name, good guy though, but he waited until like, so, hmm? go ahead. yeah, so he waited till like the very end of like where this shift ended and he said, hey man, uh, it's okay if I wait here? And it's like, it's 5 p.m. It's like, I know. Yeah, the, he, he waited. Didn't closed the day before. Yeah, exactly. Like he waited till it got closed and then yeah. sat there from 5 p.m. PM to what? Uh, nine, Next day. nine a.m. Yeah, till we showed up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, no, we showed up at like eight this time. Yeah. And you were like six. Yeah. Yeah. Hey everybody, okay. thanks for checking out another episode of Cask of Men, and thanks to Richie. Yeah, for thanks for on. having our show, yeah, man. man. Really, this much. is fun. Yeah, we're, it was. Gordon and I don't like talking to each other, so it's fun to have someone else come in. I'm just kidding. That's not true. But um, yeah, thanks for coming and talking to us about RSD. Anytime. And uh, now that it's pushed back. Mm -hmm. We have more time to figure out where our list is. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think it's more convenient than inconvenient, you know? I think so. I think so, too, yeah. Yeah, except oh. for the record stores. Yeah, but, you know, that's not a thing to do with us. Yeah, I don't care. No. I mean, I care, but... Just a little, just a little, just a little I bit. I care a little bit. Yeah. Um, 
But again, yeah, yeah so. thank you for having me on your show and, uh, you know, hoping for the future, you know? Yeah, cheers, man. Cheers. See you next time. Salud. <laughs>